Hi, we are going to focus on the layout view. So as you can see my map is already in a landscape orientation. If you need to change the layout of your map, you come here and click change layout. So I've already added the title of my map that is Land Cover Map 2016 and I've made it bold enough so that you can be able to see it as the first thing when you see the map. So the next thing is to add the legend. So just follow those steps until the end. Now we just need to manipulate the sizes of the text of these legend items so they can be visible. So we first come here to style. I want to remove the layer name here. I think we should just see the heading. Let's apply that. Okay. So now let's apply the sizes to be let's put fifty two with the text size. So that's okay. Don't need to show the legend. Okay, that's okay. So the next thing to add is the scale bar. Make sure it's visible. And I'm going to change the units to be in kilometers. So that's okay. Now let's add the north arrow. Can put it here. The next thing is we add the grids to the map so we come here and we click new grid I like having only the labels and then major division ticks only Let's change the textile so we ensure that the labels are visible. You can have says 36. So you can see, see the labels are visible but you need to change some few things so here I like uh, to label only the left and the bottom side and then let's reduce the offset to be zero and then we can make the left the left label to be vertical and I think we can increase the interval there are too many labels you can increase to two, to 2 degrees so 
so let's apply that and let's see the results so it's okay just one last thing the size of the text Increase it to 48, and no, that's okay. So, there's so many other things you can add to your map, like an inset map, or maybe you can add text such as the author name, or maybe coordinates you're using, or maybe the date and the time. For that, you can just you come here and you come and insert the dynamic text, all of that, you can find them here or any other things but these things that i've added to my map are the basic things that you need for your map so that ends this video from here you can be able to export your file you just come in you click file and you export your map if you want it to be in a pdf format or an image you'll be able to choose from there right here so that's it guys thanks for watching